He's a mighty God. Yes. Yes. He's a mighty God. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You're a mighty God. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Yes. We give you all praise. praise. Hallelujah. You are worthy Lord, of our praise, yes. and we will worship you. We will Glory. rejoice in you all. Yes. And we will praise rejoice you, always and begin you say Glory. rejoice. So we give you praise. Yes.
into all truth. Years ago, a lot of years ago, this is a long time ago, about 30 years ago, the Lord spoke to me. And, and the Lord spoke to me since I was a teenager because I thought God and He spoke to me. I thought everybody heard from God, like I did. But I thought everybody didn't hear from God like that. But, but I found out later that everybody don't hear from God like I did. You know? I mean, God, God doesn't speak to everybody like He does me. And, and I'm not bragging, I'm just saying that God chose me for a certain office. And it's to, to proclaim his word. And he told me like 30 years ago, he said, I want you to quit watching TV preachers. And I want you to quit reading other people's books. And I want you to let me teach you. And I said, okay, Lord, I'll do that. So I obeyed God. And so since then, the last 30 years, the word of the Lord has come to me on a pretty regular basis. Amen. I mean, he just, his word just comes to me to teach me things. And he knows that I need that. Because he picked me, and I didn't know much when he picked me. I was really, when I was in first and second grade, they told my parents that, he, that I was not able to read, that I was merely retarded. Because I wasn't able, I didn't learn to read in first and second grade. But then my parents sent me to a tutor over the summer, and I learned how to read. But they, they had labeled me as, as one of the dumbest kids. I got put on the, and, and then when I got through the class, different, different grades, I got put in the slow class, the slow class. And so, but the truth is, God had renewed my mind when I got saved when I was about eight years old. Yes, God had renewed my mind, and I believe He supernaturally increased my intelligence. Yes, thank you, Lord. Because He had a work for me to do. But when God chose me, when God chose me to be a preacher, now I never chose to be a preacher. God chose me to be a preacher. He called me to be a preacher. When God called me to be a preacher, even though I couldn't, He picked somebody who didn't have the ability to speak in front of people. I couldn't speak in front of people when God called me to be a preacher. I would get up here and I would just freeze. I would, I would get in front, like in junior high, I would got up in front of my class to give a report and I had it all written out. But I couldn't say a word. I would just freeze and I stood there, it seemed like forever. And sweat would just break out on me. And finally, Lucy, after about five minutes, the teacher had mercy on me to let me sit down. <laughs> he still gave me a C for that report, even though I didn't say a word. And I thought, well, that's, that's generous for him to do that. <laughs> right? Yeah. It wasn't yeah. because I didn't say a I could have got an F, right? <laughs> that was favor, yeah. But, but when God called me, I couldn't do it. But I knew if God called me, that he could help me do it. And so I depend on God. Because I can't do it. But God is almighty. And he will empower you to do yes. what he calls you to do. Yes. He will give you the anointing and the ability. And he'll give you what he says he'll give you to enable you to do the work he calls you to do. Amen. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. He is mighty God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Let's pray. Father God, we love you so much. Thank you, Lord. Father, I pray that you open the eyes of our understanding today. Father, give us revelation and understanding. I give you all glory and all praise in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you open the eyes of the understanding of your people, Father. Lord, give them eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to understand. Father, I pray for the spirit of wisdom and revelation to come alive in this house, Lord. Thank and that they will receive revelation by your power as they yes. Hallelujah. And I give you glory. Thank you, Lord. And I give you praise. You are my Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Thank you. You are worthy. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Praise glory God. God. Turn with me to Proverbs chapter 20. Hallelujah. Verse 27. says, the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belt. Say the belt. Yes. Yes. That's down inside. That's down here. That's my belly. Now, I've got a big belly, so you can tell I've got a big belly, right? But some guys don't have as big a belly. But I need a lot of room for the Holy Ghost in there, see? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have such a big belly, because I need extra room <laughs> for the Holy Spirit, because He's mighty God. That's why I need room in there for Him. But He leads, wants to lead you. Now, the, the, the candle of heat it refers to life. So our spirit is how God leads us and guides us through our spirit.